Greetings, fellow crafters. Desire Hella Queen. Welcome back to my court. Welcome if you're new. In this video, I'm going to show you the completed Deep Sea Beauties from Diamond Art Club. Stick around and we'll get this unrolled to show you all the gorgeousness. Be right back. Okay, so yeah, this is how I work on my paintings. Once I get to the bottom, I start at the top, and when I start, I roll the bottom of it up just to keep it off the floor, and I have it dangling off the edge of my table down here. But as I get closer to the bottom, I will eventually start rolling the top up, always diamonds out. If you roll them diamonds in, they compress into each other, and then you have popping, which is no good. But this is literally how I finish it up. I finished over on this section here. I love these colors. And so that is the bottom section. I may have to get creative with how I show this. Here we go. Here's the unicorn. Why it's a standard unicorn under the water, I don't know, but it's still awesome. My girls are going to be so excited to have this finished. But yeah, I started this, oh, late March, I think, for Cal's Crafts, Anything Mermaid Along. It's kind of been back burner because this event is so long. It went from March through to August, so I'm actually finishing up really, really early on the 3rd. And yeah, if you're hearing popping noises, faint popping noises in the background, I don't know if the mic's picking that up or not. Um, Canada Day was three days ago, but as I'm sure my U.S. friends will probably concur. That's not stopping anyone from popping off fireworks every day that they can afterwards. And here we go. Look at that. So you can see where the ABs are. It's all in these unfortunately shaped jellyfish. Um, yeah, when you're finishing those, they don't look like jellyfish. Uh, <laughs> there's ABs in the fishy. There's ABs. There's ABs down here. I'm gonna turn this. Let's see if we can get this back here. There's ABs in some of the coral formations and down here as well. Can you see that? Yes, you can see that. Okay, cool. Um, there's ABs in the legs of some of the shading. There was two ABs, uh, one for one, which is uh, 5200 I believe and 126 which is 211 so very light lavender but this is absolutely gorgeous I have a poster frame for this and this is going to go in the downstairs bathroom the reason it's going in the downstairs bathroom is I'm not sure how well a painting is going to hold up to a lot of showering and we don't really use the downstairs bathroom for that the downstairs bathroom is more or less just a powder room But I am very pleased with how this turned out. The colors are gorgeous. I didn't have any problems with the canvas. I didn't have any problems with the symbols. It's exactly what I would expect from Diamond Art Club. It's just that's that's the quality of it. It is a 22 by 28. Uh, the artist is Simona Car Simona Candini. Candini, yes. And it will be going in a poster frame with some with some acrylic over it similar to the one that I put uh, Niagara Dancing Lights in. So I'm just going to cut the edging off it and throw it right in the frame. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. It actually came in a two pack for the frame so I have another one. I'm not sure if I'm going to take down a painting that I have that's exactly this size, 22 by 28 inches or 56 by 71 centimeters. I think my garden needs tending is that same size. So I may reframe her and then use the magnetic frame I have for her on a different painting that's a little more uh, awkward sizing to get into a standard poster frame. We'll see. But this is definitely going in one of them. Oh, she's even got an EV in her eye. There we go. But yes, I am very happy to have done this one. It is not a typical fair for me, but who doesn't like 
the teals and purples occasionally. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope this helps you if you were on the fence about getting this one. I know my kids are going to love it. It's very, very little girly. I love the braid in the pony's tail. There's a few that didn't quite sit down. I may have to go over this with a brayer. They're not popping up. They just probably weren't pushed all the way down when I did them. But like I'm I'm so pleased this is done. It is it has turned out very, very well. Thank you so much for joining me. Like this video if you enjoyed it, share it with your friends, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next one. Keep it spooky, guys.